Okay, so YouTube video number two. Uh, this is going to be another tent review of the Big Agnes Seed House SL two person tent. Uh, I got this one, I want to say, gosh, two years ago, perhaps, maybe about a year and a half. Um, I have used it. Uh, I do like it. Um, just for a size comparison, I've put the, uh, what is this, the Eddie Bauer Stargazer three-person tent, which I will do a video on this another time, uh, but for right now it's this one. So I will go set it up, and then I'll give you a quick uh, description. And this is this tent's been around for a while, so uh, I expect there already to be a number of uh, videos out there for this. But I thought I'd make one for you guys anyway, because I really do like it. And it weighs in at about a little over three pounds, I want to say. So it's not an ultralight tent, but three pounds to me is still pretty light, especially for a two-person tent. Uh, I paid, I, th I think I paid $300 for this one. So, all right, let's get to it. Okay, so here we have the Big Agnes Seed House SL2, uh, two-person tent without the rain fly on. I uh, just set it up real quick. It took a few minutes, honestly. Um, I'm gonna put on the rain fly. Don't worry, you'll get to see that. Uh, first, I want to say that I forgot how much I like this tent. <laughs> um, I did buy a new tent because I was trying to cut a little bit of weight, but this tent still uh, is, for how old the model is, it's still, uh, it's very, it's very well made, I gotta say. So, give you a quick walk around here. Uh, I staked the four corners in. And then I also, I don't even know if I've done this before, but it has guy out points on um, the edge to give more room on the inside. Now, if you watched the video that I made on the uh, REI co-op uh, one person quarter dome tent for 2017, you'll have heard me said how um, I like how it gave more headroom, being that I'm six foot two and about this tent uh, tapered off with just a spine and then it kind of gives you foot room. Now, I have uh, slept in this with uh, my girlfriend and it, it, it fits us, it fitted us both fine. Um, here you have it's all the connection points. And then I guide out, like I said, this one here. These are, it does come with reflective uh, cord, which is very, very good. At nighttime when you're walking around your tent, um, I even bought this uh, cordage for in like, um, I don't know, just to have, I think paracord, if you're buying paracord, buy the reflective stuff. So if you're using it for tarps and stuff, you can, your flashlight or your headlamp, it'll reflect off of it. Uh, so yeah, the, this thing is, I did not, it, this tent does come with a footprint. Uh, so if you, I, 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 being how, I, I can't say the year that this came out for certain, but I do want to say that this tent uh, has been around for at least five years because this came out before their like Fly Creek series, which is their ultralight. Um, the minimum trail weight for this, I, I think you could get over, I think you could pack it for a little over two pounds but I always pack my rain fly because I always uh, expect rain where I live you just have to and I always bring a footprint 
be for the exact same reason. So the zipper is really fluid, like very, very fluid. I love the tension on this. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna put on the rain fly for you guys and wrap up this video and get on to the next part. Thank you. Okay. This is the tent, the Big Agnes Seed House SL2 with the rain fly on it. And again, I forgot how much I like this tent. Um, not, I, I like the color because it blends in with, uh, you know, being outdoors, which is always cool. Even though it's such a minor thing to be get nitpicky about is the color. It's the least thing you should be worried about, but it always helps. Okay, so. Uh, this tent comes with six stakes. I used four that I told you before on all four corners. The other two I used for the vestibule, which comes out the front, but not out the side. Uh, it has Velcro to secure it. And then... The zipper and there is your entryway now I said in the other video that I didn't like how this was a uh, front entry rather than a side and most tents uh, nowadays are all switching to a side because for whatever reason people find it to be more convenient uh, it is kind of you know awkward I will get inside the tent first but first I want to show you something else before I get in and show you um, the space inside uh, I could have guide these out here to match where I guide out the the actual tent itself but this tent does only come with six stakes so if you do buy this tent uh, you're probably gonna gonna want to go buy uh, let's see at least at least two or three more stakes I think you could add to this because I didn't guy I didn't I could I could loosen that and tie it to this stake here on the same one um, then there's this back here to make the rain uh, come off, which I would definitely stake this out. Absolutely. Uh, and then also this side here, this would come down and really, really give you the rain protection that you need. Again, the color is really good. So let's go inside because I'm losing daylight and it's probably going to be a little bit dark in here. But I'll crawl inside this two person tent and give you guys a, okay. So. There, I forgot to mention when I showed the um, just the tent itself with, with the netting. Um, there is a guy out point here that I did not do and also one on the other side. So, to give a little bit more space, you could pull those out a bit to give a little bit more room. Again, I'm six foot two. And let's see. Now, I'm six foot two. This is probably not for the anybody taller than me, because I just fit in this. My feet are touching the top here, and if I lie down here, there you have the entrance. So literally, your head is right at the door, which. You know, if you're 
if you're if you wake up and you want to put your shoes on and there's a second person in this tent you gotta spin rotate and then kick your feet out the door which is why uh, I think side vestibules are becoming more of a trend as uh, a better option but not to discredit this tent because honestly like I said I paid three hundred dollars for this tent on eBay and okay off subject there's a pocket there there is a pocket here and there is another pocket here uh, let's see there are no pockets at the foot no pockets on top there are hoops to hang a light at the center and also at the head and yeah uh if i zip the fly i've actually used this vestibule here you go that's about the vestibule space i've actually had my dog sleep um out here with the door open of course a little bit so he can he can roam if he needs to but uh yeah it's kind of a tight two-person tent but it is a two-person tent uh and let me go back outside <laughs> I haven't tried the REI tent in uh, windy or rain conditions, but this one I tried out in Idaho, Coeur d'Alene, and uh, it was, I set it up in the dark. It was super easy. Uh, it was car camping, it wasn't backpacking. I haven't backpacked this tent in, but for three pounds, I would totally. Uh, backpack this in as even a one-person tent with spare room so there you have it uh thanks for watching the video if you have any questions there are anything that i may have missed um i think that if you can find this tent for sale on a discount or sale something like that i think you're buying something good because Newer models of tents does not necessarily mean a better product. There are older designs that still beat uh, newer ones. I just occasionally, from year to year, a company will come out with a tent that was well thought out. And, you know, if you, if it's still on the market five years later, if they were selling this at MSRP $500 when it first came out, I mean, it's still as good as it was before, but way, way cheaper and probably better than, or more, what I mean by better, I mean more durable, uh, longer lasting. Uh, but I don't really have to tell you guys that because you are as probably already own big Agnes tents and you already know that uh, they're worth the money so I will stop rambling have a good night and have fun